A tornado blew through a community on a June evening in 2021, destroying a family's barn. It was a sad loss because the barn had been on the family's property since the late 1800s. As John and Barb drove by on their way to church the next morning, they saw the damage and wondered how they might help. So they stopped and learned that the family needed assistance with cleanup. Turning their car around quickly, they headed back home to change clothes and they returned to stay for the day to clean up the mess the violent winds had created. They put their faith into action as they served the family. James, he said it this way. He said, faith without works is dead. And he gives the example of Abraham, who in obedience followed God when he didn't know where he was going. James also mentions Rahab, who showed her belief in the God of Israel when she hid the spies who came to check out the city of Jericho. It's an interesting time when you look at what James was saying and the references that he made and really what James was doing. James was challenging, challenging and giving the idea that faith can exist on its own apart from good actions. He was saying that that what he was giving was an opponent of this idea and how that he said they might argue that some believers in Jesus have faith while other believers have works. And he said, no, 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 that can't be happening. That, that can't be true. He rejected that idea. And he said, faith and action can be in, uh, can be put in separate categories. However, he's saying that true faith is impossible to verify without the actions. Does that make sense today? He emphasized that true faith always flows into service on behalf of societies marginalized and economically uh, vulnerable. He said, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds, it does them no good. Faith is the root. It's good works are the fruits. Did you hear that? Faith is the root. Good works is the fruit. And we must see to it that we have both faith and works. God doesn't need our good deeds, but our faith is proven by our actions. He said that they may see your good works and glorify the Father in heaven. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a little shorter this week. It's our prayer that you are having a blessed week. Thank you for joining us for our drama this weekend. What a great time we had together. And uh, almost 200, 220 people came through and we are excited about the seeds that were planted. If you want to know more about Harvest Church, you know how to get a hold of us. God bless you. Have a great rest of your week.